Hello YouTube, this is Russian Torts here and uh, here's my first video out of Germany from this year. So, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to build your own ecosphere. This is something that I actually did four years ago in Germany and I uploaded a little video of it. I'll post the video of the old, the, that, the link of the old video in the description below so you guys can check out what they looked like before. But I didn't actually show how to build it, so I'm now going to show you guys how to build it. It's very simple, it's very cheap. It's a fun little thing to do as a project and yeah, if you like animals or are interested in self-sustaining ecosystems at all, this is something neat you can try. So, as I told you guys, first video on Germany, here's my humble room and uh, here's Germany. Alright, that's all of Germany I'm really gonna see. And here I am with a broken collarbone. So, the video is gonna be maybe a little bit more shaky than usual and um, that's just because I can't really use my left arm, like if I want to move it I kind of got to lift it up with my right hand because having a broken collarbone kind of sucks. So what do you need to build your own ecosphere? Well, you need a large container, so what I like to use is a large pickle jar, same jar I used four years ago. Um, their pickles are very cheap in Germany, so this was like two euros and we're obviously still going to eat the pickles, I just put them in a separate container. What's important is that you want the container to seal you want to be able to trap everything in there. So um, the whole idea behind this ecosphere is that you're building a self-sustaining ecosystem and if it's open it's not really self-sustaining because you have air coming in there, potentially food, so you can obviously still do that. Eight hey, shrimp, stay in there please. It's not your time to leave the container yet, okay? Eight, hey, stay, thank you. <laughs> the mono shrimp are uh, very stable out of the water so I guess you wanted to escape. Um, so your large container, I'm trying to try to make this quick. My dad already interrupted take one of this, so the shrimp's getting a little anxious. You need your substrate, so what I choose is some aquarium gravel. Um, you don't want to go bare bottom, you want to have some sort of uh, substrate in there for bacteria to build. Um, obviously you want your shrimp and uh, plants. So shrimp's right in there with some aquarium plants. You want aquarium plants that grow fast and that don't need a lot of light and then you want your water. So you can use tap water but tap water when it's dechlorinated there's really nothing alive in there so um, shrimp eight. Okay I don't think I can climb the glass walls, uh, the plastic walls here. So <laughs> um, what you want, what I want to use is pond water. So right here there's a jar, a, a bottle of pond water from my dad's backyard and what's really cool about pond water is the amount of life that's in there. So that's why I want to use it. It's a little bit more yellow, sure, but there's already so many little things alive that are in there that it's already pretty much an uh, ecosystem right now. I don't even need to put a shrimp into this. I could just have this bottle staying in my window and I'd have an ecosystem. So that's what's really cool about this. Um, that's why I want to use the pond water. So I'm going to get to setting this up now real quick and talk a little bit more about it later to not uh, piss off the shrimp more. So obviously first step take your gravel and put it in your container. So, I'm going to do that first. Alright, maybe have smaller hands than me. That will be beneficial. So, have my gravel at the bottom. Now I'm going to put in a little bit of the pond water. Not all of it yet because I want to still be able to fit the shrimp and a little bit of water that's in the bowl with the shrimp. So, I'm going to take my pond water with all the little live animals and pour it in. Alright. And now the shrimp wants to go. So, um, usually when you do an aquarium, obviously you acclimate the shrimp, right? You can't really do that in a small little thing like this. Ooh, it smells like pond water too. <laughs> so, I can't really do that in a little thing like this. So, I'm just going to go ahead, dump the shrimp right in. Emano shrimp are really tough and um, I think it's going to survive. It did last year, uh, sorry, four years ago. Um, you have to take an Emano shrimp. They're the only shrimp, to my knowledge, that uh, live on, of only algae. They can live of only algae. If you want red cherry shrimp, which are more colorful, they're not as hardy and they need some protein in their diet, which, granted, there's little water bugs in here. It might work out, but I just think Emano shrimp is the safest and cheapest bet. So, I'm going to try to transfer the shrimp in there without it escaping. So, um, this might result in me screaming like a little girl. So, uh, 
let's see if I can get the shrimp in there. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, shrimp almost jumped out, but I got it in the water, I think. Yeah, it's in there, so. Whew, that was scary. Now, come to the aquatic plants. All right, so in they go. One and two. You need aquatic plants in the water. It's very important because they, um, obviously they're what um, gives the, uh, the shrimp oxygen. So the little duckweed on top is nice as well. It's gonna help clean up the water as well. So they provide oxygen and they take out waste out of the water. So plants are crucial to this. And now I'm gonna fill it up with uh, some more shrimp <laughs> shrimp water with some more pond water and I'm going to be careful um, not to bury the shrimp under um, some of the gravel that's at the bottom there so I'm going to pour it in very slowly and this is going to be a bit of a shock for the shrimp this water so um, the shrimp might die out of shock I hope it doesn't but that is a possibility so um, the first day is the most crucial if the shrimp survived that you should be fairly good to go um, obviously, you're gonna want to make sure that the pond where you get the water from is a clean pond. So, of course, the water is gonna be dirty because there's dirt in it. But you don't want any chemicals leaking, in the, leaking into the pond because that is gonna be very bad for the health of your shrimp. So, I'm just slowly pouring in water. I'm gonna try to not get too much dirt from the bottom in. And um, yeah, I'm gonna leave some space for air at the top. And I'm gonna close it up which is going to be a little bit difficult and you can see the shrimp go in there. So I'm going to put it up and then last thing you want to do is put it by a window where it will get some sunlight. All right, so let's show you guys what it looks like. All righty, so there it is all set up. Now the shrimp's going to go a little bit crazy until it gets used to it. Um, it's going to take a little bit for the dirt to settle and then you should see the shrimp swimming around in there all these other little cool critters and um, Yeah, I'm very excited to see how this goes. Um, I'll keep you guys probably give an update and I don't know a week's time from now to see what this is like and um, I hope you guys try this as well. It's a fun little project and I will upload for those of you that are watching this They're like where's your tortoise videos and stuff. Well, I'm in Germany, so you got to be a little bit patient I did make a video on how to build um, an outside enclosure for your tortoise and that's a very very long video if I were to upload that unedited it would end up being um, a couple of hours so I got to edit that and that's going to take some time because my computer can't edit as you guys know it's way too crappy so I have to use my dad's computer and he uses it for work blah 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 so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed watching this if you have any questions at all about this about my other pets leave them in the comment section below and I will see you guys next time.